How's it going guys? Welcome to this painting tutorial. This time I decided to paint a Winter Guard Officer for the Cater faction on the game War Machine. This is the way I painted all of my Winter Guard soldiers and I wanted to share it with you guys. Please let me know what you think uh, in the comment and uh, like the video if you like it and I shall start. I'm starting by priming the miniature with Rustoleum Automotive Gray Primer. This is a good alternative, uh, a cheap alternative of primer if you don't want to spend on a brand primer, but if you do want, any, any brand would be fine. I'm starting by painting the breastplate with Brass Scorpion. Uh, the paint is watered down a little bit. Uh, I've used uh, thinning medium for the metallics. For all of the other base coats, I'm using just water. Most of the uh, paints are watered one to one, and I'm not using any complicated technique. I'm just uh, layering the colors in. Next, I'm going to use Bogman's Glow, and this color I'm going to use it for the face and all of the skin area. Uh, on the Winter Guard models, usually only the face is skin. Next, I'm going to paint the uniform with the fang. And for most of these steps, I'm using a size 2 Kolinsky brush. Uh, you can use the uh, base coat brush or the standard brush from Citadel or from other brands. I don't really know them. Those are the ones that I use. But the equivalent would be fine. Next, I'm going to use Mephiston Red. And this is, this is the color we're going to use to base coat all of the red parts, which is the shoulder pads and the armor plates. Just be careful not to paint on the other steps that we already painted. If you do, it's not, it's not a big deal. You can just take the previous color and fix it. But we'd rather not spend time fixing the, the paint job. So try to be patient and careful. Next, XV88. I like these uh, colors. It's like a brown ochre. I'm going to use it to base coat the hair on this model. Uh, this model on the box art has the uh, hair painted on blonde, and that's what I'm going for. Next, I'm going to use Rhinox Hide. That's going to go on all of the wood parts which is the handle of the axe and the blunderbuss. Next, I'm going to use Steel Legion Drab and with this color I'm going to paint all of the straps on the belt and uh, the pouches that it has around the waist. Remember to thin down all of the colors that you're using don't use any color straight from the pot because you are going to take away from the detail on the model. Next, lead belcher as a base coat for all of the iron parts like the head of the axe, the blunderbuss, and I think that's pretty much it. Next, I'm going to use Vallejo Model Color Black, and with this color I'm going to paint all of the black details. It's practically the rest of the model, just the little uh, details around the, the uniform, the boots, and the gloves. I like the Vallejo Model Color Black more than uh, the Citadel equivalent, because it has a very matte finish, and I don't know, I like it a lot, and every time I run out of black, it's the color that I run out most of. Um, I go and get a just a little dropper bottle on, of the Palejo model color black. And finally, for all of the base coats, I'm going to use Celestra Grey to paint the little pelt around the neck of the Winter Guard unit. Next. I'm going to wash the model. I'm going to use Rayclan Flesh Shade for the hair, the face, and the um, 
the breastplate, which is uh, the bronze color. And the rest of the model is going to be shaded with gnome oil. Just try to spread it out. If you never have used a wash before, you just have to try to mop the model and let the uh, wash get into the crevices and tint the whole model. This is going to create a very nice shadows, uh, instant shadows. And actually, if you look at it uh, like this, you can easily say that the model is finished but I'm going to highlight all of the colors again. I'm going to use Sikorax bronze to paint all of the bronze areas. I just try to paint the most straight parts. But most of the uh, colors I'm just coloring in the uh, upper parts again just to bring out the color once more. Next, I'm going to use Cadian Flesh Tone, and this is the first highlight for the flesh. This color is going to go on all of the surfaces of the skin. Just uh, leave the deepest recesses on the previous color, like the mouth, the eyes, and uh, places very close to the hair and the neck, and stuff like that. Next, I'm going to use Kisla Flesh, and this highlight is going to go on the upper parts like the cheeks, the half half part of the of the nose, and places that are directly hit by light, and screaming skull as the final highlight. This is going to go just in a little little details here and there on the places where most light hits. Uh, just put a little hint of uh, of highlight with this color. Next, I'm going to use Tau Light Ochre, and this is going to be like an, an overbrush, almost as a as a um, dry brush, but this is going to be used on the hair. Next, I'm going to use Unger Flesh as the second and final highlight for the hair. Just try to dry brush it on on the hair where light hits, and that's it. Okay, next, I'm going to use the fang again to clean up the uniform. This color is watered down one to one, as most of them are. Or all of them, actually. I'm using all of them uh, watered down just with water, and the metallics are watered down with thinning medium. Just try to pick the highest raised parts and leave the darkest recesses on the previous color. Next, I'm going to mix uh, the fang with rust gray, about one to one. And this color, I'm going to color in again the uniform, but just on the most raised parts, uh, leaving the uh, previous colors on the shadows. And just picking the most raised parts. Next, I'm going to use rust gray, just straight rust gray, and this color I'm going to paint just the very top parts of this uh, the uniform, just the places that you can see that the light is really shining off of the model. Uh, just a little hint of uh, an extreme highlight with this color. Next, I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet, and with this color I'm going to paint the reds again. Uh, but I'm going to paint most of the red parts with this color. I'm just going to let the previous color on the very recesses. I'm trying to make a very vibrant red, so this color as a first highlight is alright on most of the area on the, on the red.
next I'm going to use Wild Rider Red and with this color I'm just going to edge highlight the lower parts on the plates on the, on the lower part of the model and the upper parts I'm just going to paint it over the places where most light hits which is the the parts facing up of the shoulder pads Next I'm going to use Bane Blade Brown and this is the highlight for the belts and the pouches Next I'm going to use Mornfang Brown and this color I'm going to use it to highlight the wood parts Next I'm going to use Iron Breaker and this color I'm going to use it to highlight the iron parts We're almost there uh, This is the penultimate step I think Next, next comes the highlight on the white I'm going to use white scar and this I'm going to dry brush it on the pelt around the neck of the winter guard model and we're pretty much done so this is the finished model I really like it a lot this is the way I painted most of my winter guard you can go for a gray instead of blue uh, but uh, I kind of like to use the, a lot of uh, vibrant colors for my War Machine army, so I went with blue, and I like it a lot. If you would like to go further, you could highlight the blacks, but in my opinion, this miniature looks good as it is. I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and informative. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a comment. Uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more and if you have an idea of what would you, would you like to see next uh, please leave it in the comments below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next one